Maybe we're starting today and do the interpretation. So hopefully you did your uh, Saturn graph and you got the, there's mine, but you put in the, the different dates. You put in the dates for the conjunction squares, oppositions, squares, conjunctions, and put them down across your life and work through some of your history to put in the, the events or the major things you think were happening at that time. Um, we'll be doing this on all of our, on all of our, um, all the planets and everything to go. We're going to be making this association to date. We're going instead of what when I was 17 or when I was just that we're going back to the exact, to back to ages. Whoops. It's just, it's Excuse me. Hello? From William Oswald. Okay, that's off. That's off. Okay, good. <sighs> I think we'll start with just, just what's Saturn? You know, like we, we've got to work with, we're looking at Saturn across a lifetime, you know, like, not, it's important to see the continuity across a lifetime of how it works across a lifetime rather than just a certain event here, Saturn, here's what it's doing. So it's true, Saturn is the sort of grim reaper. It brings restrictions, it crystallizes, it depresses, it makes things harder or more difficult, it delays things, it causes um, extra work. But really, it's the, that's the negative sides of it. The depression, the, I don't the, the boredom, the tediousness, but really it's supposed to be your, your, your self-discipline, your ability to make an effort to accomplish things, to put in the extra effort so you can accomplish something. And it's how you're able to work at things day by day across your life, how you're working through your life, how you're growing and accomplishing things through your life. A lot of things happen just because we're human. It's not, it's an accomplishment, but not something I can claim. Like I don't, I, I accomplish my second set of teeth or I accomplish different, um, I accomplish getting through midlife crises or I accomplish, like you have, we, we accomplish those things. Our body goes through certain changes and things at certain times that are set. Those could be considered accomplishments because before we go through it and after we go through it, you look back and you think, well, I grew, I got something done. So Saturn's the planet of time. And what we've done with our time, what have, I'm this age, what have I done with my time? Have I still got something more to do or I'm too old to do anything anymore? Or have I not done anything or why bother? Or will I get a chance? Or is the system against me? Like how much effort do I make? It really is the yoga of self-discipline, yeah, of discipline and restraint. Can you give up all the fun things to get the things you have to get done done? Because sooner or later, if you don't do the things you have to do, they're going to catch up on you. They're going to mess. If you don't take care of your responsibilities, who else is going to do it? There'll be costs coming in. There'll be things you lose because you didn't do things. So just being alive, there's always a struggle. It's just to be a day, 24 hours, there's a struggle. You gotta eat, you gotta, you gotta wash, you gotta eat, you gotta do things, you gotta exercise, you gotta work, you gotta eat, you gotta get to bed. You have to have things organized or set in place and have st things somewhat stable so that you can do these things. And there's a vast spectrum of where people are at any time. You know, like there's people in the streets that just haven't done the work and they're just working at finding a place to sleep on, on the street or wherever not stable. There's people who are in their castles and their mansions and they got everything stable and they're having to finish their day or complete their day and hopefully sleep with a clear conscience. But what we accomplish, what we do, what we achieve, what we work, what we've done with our time. I mean, doing things is Mars. You know, we're doing things, choosing things as Venus. What do I want? What did I do? Did I do what I want? Did I get what I want? Did I get a little bit more? That's Jupiter. Can I take this a little bit further? That's Jupiter. But what did I really accomplish? 
in the last couple of years or the last five or six years, the last year, what have I done? Where have I gone to? And often, geez, we don't necessarily know until we see what other people have done differently than us. Be a good example. Um, a woman that's had a kid and had to go through bringing up a kid, go through having the kid inside, giving birth, taking care of the baby, getting them to school, building them up. Boy, when, when a woman's had a kid and gone through all of these experiences, she meets another woman who's never had a kid. It's a different universe. And you know, like there's different attitudes to what you have to do and what you have to work at. So all the planets are involved, our common sense, our values, what we choose, what we want, what we do, our confidence, how well we've done it, our habits, our understanding of what's right, what's wrong. And all of those, can, if any of those get afflicted, they begin to cut away what we can accomplish too. If you're not thinking right, if you don't have the right values, if you're doing things the wrong way, if you don't have a correct understanding, these all impinge on what we can, on, on how much we can achieve. But in understanding any of the planets, we have to look at one. First of all, we look at the planet to itself. We have to see Saturn to itself. It starts where it is in your chart. So you have your attitude to Saturn already. You have it Saturn in a certain sign and in a certain house and making certain aspects. That's your Saturn. That's how Saturn works for you. It starts from there. You carry that with you, and you're trying to make your Saturn happen as it's going around, around the chart. So... Um, So Saturn has different, people have different attitudes to Saturn from the, just right from the beginning, from the rainbow chart. People have different attitudes to father, to parents, to responsibilities. But there's a texture of how we come into this. I mean, essentially Saturn's bones and skin and joints, bones and skin, and Mars is the muscles. And all life's a fight between muscles and bones. And... It's amazing we develop some understanding or some perspective on guide, how to guide and how to do it, how the process works. But when we're first born, we're just a bag of bones. We don't really have identity or personality. I think we're just born and we're, it's a miracle that we can breathe that we're still alive, that we've come out of our mom and survived. But then things start happening, start, things start building up. So we're going to go through this whole sequence across the lifetime and see it against back from the Saturn. Um, there's many faces of Saturn, but any, any of the categories, anything, events can show that involve those things. So it can't be just depression or just work, or it can be respect. It can be disrespect. It can be not work. It can be dishonor. It can be not achieving. It can be achieving. It can be half achieving. It can be super achieving. It can be hard work. Like, wow, there's so many, it's a vast spectrum of specific things that can show at any time. But we have a progression from when we start from, right from when we're born. We have good bones. Can't tell. They're just growing. They're all big, but they're, they're enough to have the structure to hold the body together and to grow and build from the time we're born. So it starts at the time we're born. Um, yeah, so when we're, I mean, there's, there's, Stop for a second here. Okay. Um, we can see how we start with the conjunctions. We're, we're narrowing this down. We're watching the whole phase of Saturn going around, but we're looking at four critical points, the conjunction, the waxing square, the opposition, the waning square, and when it comes back to conjunction. So we're watching it go around the chart. Well, Saturn's a 30 year, 29 and a half year cycle. So that's how long it takes to go around to do one cycle. That's a maturity cycle. That's a growth cycle. That's one of the big turning points is your Saturn return when it comes back to where it started from and you start the second cycle. You end the old, first cycle, you start the second cycle in your life at 29 to 30. These are, I mean, Saturn returns are huge things in a person's life, 29 to 30 and then 58 to 59, somewhere in, in around there. Um, and then if you get that far, 88, 89, 90, in that, in that range. So you have, we have three Saturn 
cycles in a lifetime that we experience. There's um, a religious saying that uh, Christ said, if you destroy me, I'll rebuild this temple in, in three days. Well, three days and cycles were similar things back in those days. And I'll build another life, three cycles of Saturn. It's, it's three levels of achievement, of accomplishment, of growing, of development, of becoming, of establishing structures, of building a life. Yeah, we're building life so that by the time we leave it and we get on, and we let go and go into that, we feel we've accomplished something, we've done something. So we build up and then at a certain point you can't carry it anymore and you have to let it go. So there's different process of coming into Saturn, dealing with Saturn, letting go of Saturn, getting a free of Saturn or trying to be, go beyond it. In a simple way, if you just take care of things yourself and you're responsible for yourself, you get respect. It takes effort, but you get respect. If you don't take responsibility for yourself or you're diminishing responsibility, making more of an effort for someone else to take care of you, you're not really growing in the same way. There'll be negative long-term repercussions. An interesting thing in the cycles, as it goes around in seven-year cycles, the crises, what happens at one aspect to the next aspect to the next in the crises periods the critical times that happen at those times they're related to each other and they affect each other and sometimes if you haven't dealt with the responsibility at one aspect it catches up to you the next and you're going back across seven years trying to say what do i have to deal with are you seeing what you've done or haven't done so um once we get everything in place and we see how our life unfolds and we understand the cycle then we begin to look and reflect on, wow, this thing I'm having to deal with, this Saturn aspect I'm having to deal with now, that's tied up to what happened seven years ago or, or 15 years ago or 20, 21 years ago or 30 years ago. I'm still working on that. Oh my goodness. That's why it's easy to blame our parents for what we achieve or don't achieve. But really it's what we've done with our own time. And our chart is the karma of what we're capable of doing or not capable of doing, how much we'll work at it, how much we won't. You know, thank goodness not everybody's hard-nosed, hard-working, overly disciplined person. Thank goodness there's some people that goof off or have fun and do other things, but there's, there's trade-offs around that. This is the scales of justice. We can back away from things and you can get other things and, oh, and sometimes we don't want to be responsible. You know, but it really hurts when we don't get respect or we don't achieve things. Some people don't care. Some people do. It's different when each person thinks. So it starts. Okay, I'm just going to. I'm just going to.